Combat's over. Oh, really? Combat's over? Yay! Hot diggity damn! Thank you, Hell. Well done. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to be a party pooper, but is the core doing anything inside Poros' hand? It's just struggling to get out, and let me see if... Uh, roll a strength check for me? That's athletics, you mean. It's like a cons... Okay, yeah, uh, state. roll an athletics check. That's a 23. Yeah, you... You pretty much have it. It's fighting! Guys! And, uh, for reference, it got a 7. Oh, <laughs> well. Rourke, uh, Rourke drops drops the rope, r r runs to towards pr pr Protoss, and with the with with his sh shield dagger, attempts to attempts to stab it. You're going to try to stab Protoss's hands. <laughs> well, I'm going for the. I'm trying to go for the ooze. I'm pretty much and the a very tight seal on it. And yeah, now Paula does similar. She drops the rope and is just running over to Protos. Uh, you... Protos is just swinging his arms in the air. What the hell are you two doing? And I thought you were just. I thought, just, I thought, I thought you were holding it in, 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 in two hands. So I was like. No, I'm like keeping that. you two away from this thing. And it's at this does, point. Sorry? Yeah, yeah pretty, no pretty much one... after seeing this, uh, Protoss has swing his arms in the air while still keeping your grasp on the core. It's like, what the hell are you two thinking you're doing? Yeah, killing no that, just... that thing. So yeah, no one is. Just... in those things? Yeah, Protoss... And uh, it's at this point where you guys hear something growing from the core, and it's a mouth. Oh, ah. yeah. What, uh, and what happens is it it just yells, Stop! Stop, please! I can talk! I can talk! Don't talk what and the oral starts dead. The booze can talk? Well, of oh, course I can talk! I'm a demon! Not some... Not some two... Some two-bit slime. Hmm. So just going to but you look like a two-bit slime. Well, you look like a two-bit human. Uh, probably going to put a little squeeze on the core. Start talking. Uh, okay, okay. What do you want to know? I'll just give me a moment, actually. Or uh, who'll be asking the questions? <laughs> Someone's smart. I don't know a question. <laughs> I lighten just... my grip. What? I lighten what my grip. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Yep, he's a bad guy. <laughs> God damn it, if only Agatha was awake. Oh yeah, how is Agatha <laughs> and Jeremy? Oh yeah, Jeremy is a... Jeremy sees the uh, wall of vines just like disintegrate. And it's just like... Guys! <sighs> oh, thank the gods. You're all okay. What I suggest the you stay hell? back. Do I suggest you... you stay back. We still have Do a parasite. Did you bring a kid hand. here? He followed well, us. We didn't bring him. He just kind of tagged along. Well, back at the question well, at hand. Look, in any case, your friend's fine. Although, I'm. I don't know what's going on with them. They're... She's. She just. She's alive, yeah, but. Asleep. It was at that point. It was at that point that Owen was just like, his face has just gone blank, and then he's just like, "I'll go check on her." Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, DM, uh, just let me know yep. when a minute pass, so I'm not going. To, I'm going to continue my raid. So. Okay. And just let me know uh, when a minute pass. Okay. All right. So Scar is going to basically walk up towards him, just going to draw its blade against the other side. You're uh, going more to my him. hand down, <laughs> and you know, uh, like just you know, so you're at speaking level to it. Like hurry up! Thank you, Protos. 
You're going to tell Are us exactly we? what we need. You're going to tell us exactly what we need to know. Say any of the wrong questions, and I will kill you. I basically got no intention of killing you, so what's even the point? Are you going and to answer my question it's at this point. Not? It's at this point where a minute has passed, and... Okay, I'm and, going to uh, spend a rage point. Roll in, and, uh, Scaro, roll an inside check. An inside? Okay. Why am I... Hold on, hold on. I need to go back to my character page. I was looking up something up. Okay. okay, I need to expand the rage point again. Okay. Uh, 15. This this is actually the most sincere this demon has ever been. In fact, it's to the point where it's not even fighting back anymore. So, Protos, you're good. So, if, wait. if you still want to hold him, you're fine. Okay, um, Protoss is going to lighten his grip, but as soon as he does it, his physique gets darker, more, a bit slightly more demonic looking. Like, he's, you know, looking a little bit, he's, like, changing, like, from normal looking Protoss to halfway being like you hear from the textbooks of demons. Okay. Whoa, what's, what's going on with your friend there? Okay. If you're doing oh. this to him, I swear to God. No, that's not me. That's that's an entirely different monster. Call him a oh. monster, you monster. Hold on, Paul. Miss Paula. We have to focus on the main questions at hand. Allow me to start. So, state your name and intention, Stephen. <laughs> My name is. Very much. <laughs> you, you, you mortals would have a hard time trying to pronounce it correctly. So for the moment, just call me Rathos. Rathos. I don't like okay. you. Rathos, what is your relation with Fireblight? <laughs> Those little freaks? Yeah, honestly, I could care less what happens to them. All I know is, they're up to something. What do you they want to free. They want to free demons. At least that's what I think. Don't you mean the? They tried ones? to. That's that circle. They. I don't know what it was, but it almost tried to drag me in. The last thing I remember before coming here is a bunch of tentacles. Shadowy tentacles, but still tentacles. So why did you lash yourself with the queen then? Honestly, <laughs> it would secure me a good spot to, oh, I don't know, swallow some souls. But I guess uh, since this place is kind of condemned now with all the, uh, well, and it grows an eyeball. Just to look around. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think you can see why I kind of got desperate. If you know about these demon summonings, then you probably know a way how to reverse them, right? <laughs> Please. Just watch. Just look at your little wasp queen over there. And it's at this point where you watch the... It's pretty much in the middle of it, but even so... Uh... What? What? And, uh... It's at this point where, uh... You start to see the Wasp Queen change back to her normal size. Granted, it was not exactly... It's not much of a difference, but... It's still looking somewhat normal in terms of, like, a Wasp Queen. A Wasp Queen should be. And, uh... Wispy actually goes in... My Queen! And she... He goes in... Uh, making sure she's okay. Meanwhile, 
with uh, Rathos. Heh. <laughs> you see, if I don't have much hold on her, then how exactly am I supposed to maintain her form? What have you done? I wish I knew. You Look. don't know what you did to her? Look, all I know is they wanted to terrorize a bunch of souls. They being fire blighting it, I guess. But something about them ain't natural. I've seen necromancers before, but none of them have, well, done that. They bonded me till that, to that wasp queen like I was some kind of, yeah, like I was so some kind of parasite. So you weren't actually willing to possess her at the first place then? Hey, as soon as you toss a couple souls my way, I'll help you. Back. Does any of us has like a glass jar as a container or something? Um, DM. Uh, yeah. I know this is might be sound a bit mad gaming, but um, this is considered as an ooze, correct? Yes. So it doesn't breathe oxygen. Doesn't doesn't require to breathe air, right? Kinda. It it's. Even though it's kind of amorphous, it's still managing to make shapes. So I would assume that, uh, back in character, if you shove me in a bottle, uh, yeah, you'll okay, do I, uh, what? Okay, I'm a guy. So I have a water skin water bottle. We can put him in. That might work. Wait, um, I, water? I think... It's not holy, is it? Yes, it totally is. I no, please, no please don't put me in there. Please don't put me in I there. I don't want to go in there. a small narrow. Uh, by the way, has a minute passed again? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm on my, um, on my last race point. Uh, no, this is my last race point. So after this, I'll turn back to normal. But, uh, Prose's form goes full-on demonic looking. Like, you know the demon lord Bahamut, right? Y'all know yep. what he looks like? Pretty uh, much Protoss looks like that. Like his face what? is all fucking in. Like, pretty much like full demon lord looking. And, and Rathos is going to... Rathos is looking at you just like... No. No, it can't be. You're supposed to be dead. Huh? What? Dead. Who's supposed to be dead? Rodos, what is he talking about? I have no clue, but uh, Paul, this is the first time you're seeing this, because Paul's never gone in raids for this long, and pretty much after a minute pass, he'll turn back to Nora, but this is new for you. This is very concerning. <sighs> no. If I'm getting this right, you were just summoned here for... for what again? I, I was away, guys, but... Look. They just wanted me to eat souls. That's it. Wait. And... So do you probably but... know where Fireblight is going next? <laughs> probably to the nearest town. Hmm. Hey, Cole. But... Hey, Cole. But if I know them... They're gonna wanna make sure they're all stocked up on supplies. Oh. And so they probably won't be back for another day. So wait, you know where their base may be? <laughs> like hell I do. Well, what we'll user actually. They don't tell you. they didn't tell me nothing. They just shoved me in a body and called it a day. Well now you're we're gonna shove you in a water bottle and call it a day. No, no, please, please, no. I don't want to go in there, I don't want to go in there. Don't wait, think. Oh, you're going in there. Well, and, you're going in the water bottle. Paula put him Rath in there. And Rathos, and Rathos, you see him, you see his eye just darting around desperate and then stops like it has an idea. Wait, 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 I can help you, I can help you! 
Why really? Artis starts to grip on the core with one of his hands. So like, talk. Okay, okay, okay. Look, I'm not exactly aligned with them. I'm not aligned with Fireplay. So, I can help you guys. Making deals with a demon doesn't sound like the best idea. Look, Why? this... Mother says... Look, th Demons not trusted. Devils, you can trust. Demons will just kill you for the heck of it. Uh, I I not if you corner them right. like this. Uh, has the minute pass again, DM? Yes. Okay, Prozis forms us, reverse back to normal size strings, and he just claps on the floor. <laughs> oh. Um, uh, I hope someone's keeping an eye on the ooze. And Rath Rathos is not doing anything. Rathos, He's that's just, Rathos is just staying right there. Well, I've already got my water the... bottle out to scoop him in. I Look, don't work. If Rourke you is have... keeping an eye on him. Look, if you have connections to him, then I want to help you. Why? Who's him? <laughs> what? Don't you know the Demon King? Wait. Are you implying that Produce over there is the king of all demons? Well, I've never seen him before, but seeing his blood moving around him like that I don't I don't know it could very well be the fact that he may be his son oh, but, oh. What, the, what the what but look I've got nothing I've got no idea what to I've got no idea what to tell you okay. it's either that or your friend was injected with some very very powerful devil, devil blood. I don't know. Demon but blood. Th yeah, demon blood. Yeah, demon blood. Demon blood. But but that's besides the point. Look. So what are you trying? Fire blight. Look. And uh, Rathos is. Uh, he's just going to scurry up uh, Protos's arm and just. Stand on his shoulder. Maybe yeah, attached to his shoulder, and Prozis looks over. No, fine business. I'm. Trust me. I, I would. I'd be wise not to screw with you. Because I'm a minotaur. <laughs> Please, I can give two shit. I couldn't give two shit if we were a minotaur, a freaking angel. Probably has quirk his head, but it you know, tilts his head like confused, like, what? Are you but, some sort of low level abyssal creature? <laughs> what gave it away? Well, I was kind of thinking for a devil, you are kind of pathetic. Devils <laughs> and small demons are two different beings, even though they. Oh, God damn it. Are and all fiends, but. My mother and, tells me about them a lot. And Rathos is very offended by a by low by you, you saying low tier demon. In fact, take... in fact, so much so that it just materializes like a noodle arm just to give like a very exaggerated, uh, offended look. That's right, be mad. So you're going to tell us exactly what we want to know or not. Look, Fireblight is not exactly normal. They do things that aren't natural to this world. I mean, necromancers already are kind of, well, in the head, but these guys are on a different level. These guys... These guys show no mercy. They will take prisoners, but they will... They will turn them into whatever the hell they... Look, I've only been... I've only a passing knowledge of them. They're not exactly known through the demon realms, okay? 
You mean the abyssal plane? Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to call it. And but even so, yeah, just that for my pros does have some knowledge on the abyssal plane due through his mother's knowledge. Due yeah, to we, all the we, stories we... she told him. And we'll get to that later. But for right now, I need something from you guys. It's not a soul. It's not a soul. I'm not going to eat any of your souls on my honor as a demon. That's really stretching it from a demon. Our mother says a demon are willing to kill you just for the heck of it. <laughs> and I believe me, and believe me, your mom ain't wrong. But there's one thing she forgot. We demons are reasonable if you just listen to us. Okay. So what exactly are you wanting from us exactly, then? If not our souls, then what is? I just need a form to inhabit. It doesn't have to be living, but it definitely has to be of this world. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like any of this. I... Uh not I did happen. say. Da, 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 wait, I did say it doesn't have to be living. So you can shove me in a Bud sword Lincoln. or whatever. You can shove me in a sword, or even, or maybe even the. And he just looks over at Owen. What about that guy's nunchucks? Nah, put him in the bottle. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> All those is so crazy. His hand. And what would happen if you do possess, say, to, say, a weapon? You're not going to screw over the wielder, are you? No, please. And if we kill someone with you on it? Look, just tell me where I can eat someone's soul and then I can... And then I'll do my business. Okay. Can I put you, you on a necklace and wear you? Miss Paula, uh, no! <laughs> Miss Paula, yes! The, and it was at no. that point that... And it was at that point oh, that Olin comes off, back. uses his um, great axe as a... You know, like a, like a staff to lean on. Like, demons are not meant to be trifled with. And uh, what, were you, what were you trying to say, Olin? And it was at that point that Olin just walks back steaming mad. All right. right, start talking. Oh, is your friend okay there? Well, uh, I don't. Think, I don't know. I, don't know if you want I to think you out. pissed him off. Okay, oh. yeah, I, I guess I do deserve that. But okay, if you want to basically make this deal, we're going to have to set a few guidelines ourselves. So you better listen to them. All right? Yeah, yeah. Get them over with. Okay. Look. Number one, you can't. Yeah. Eat any souls of the innocent. Only absorb souls unless we tell you so. No right? souls at all. Demons get stronger with each soul. Yeah, but <sighs> okay. I'm get. I'm over told yes. you how your demons work. More souls okay. means more power. Same thing for devils. More souls they have contracts with, the more power they get. Okay. Look. You're not wrong when I when you say I'm a low tier demon. Huh. <laughs> and you could just, you just see him gritting through his teeth when when he says that. But look, I can. I was pulled. I was pulled from my world too, all because some. Some weirdos are trying to... I don't know what. All I know is, they want souls for something. So, with my line of logic, if I... if I'm sure I have it right, is that the more souls I take from them, the more souls that they 
don't have for whatever ritual they plan on enacting. How does that even work? It's, uh, it's complicated to explain. Yeah, of course. In necromancer stuff, y y you understand. Necromancer? Okay. Yeah, Fireblight has... <laughs> okay, Fireblight's got necromancers up the wazoo. Let me explain the skeletons. <laughs> that ain't the half of it. They will pull all the stops just to get whatever the just whatever sick goal they're trying to achieve. I don't freaking know. But I don't just eat souls. And that was kind of painful to admit for him. He doesn't need to eat souls? Yeah, souls of if I'm honest, souls are more just like, uh, what's a good comparison to, uh, a snack? What's a, uh, sure. Dessert? Well, what my mother told me, souls oh. of the devils are considered currency or power. Demons, yeah. uh, I don't know yeah. what how they view souls, but they do want them. Either to make more minions or more abyssal creatures. Actually, it's kind of our fuel. Oh. Take it take it as our uh, I guess our uh, I guess wine? I don't know how it, look, I don't know how it works. <laughs> All I know is it just it just works. So, okay. ruling on souls just keeps you alive, then? Yeah. I can't eat other things. But... Not if I... Not, not even if I... Oh, and, uh... The... Oh. And, uh... And... And he looks like to his axe blade. Alright. For now, you go on my axe. And, uh... Uh, whoever is closest to the Wasp Queen, uh, give me a perception check. Because this is something that's... This may be something. Uh, perception okay. check? Perception. Okay. Uh, okay, so, Owen? Uh... Yep. So, Olin, perception check. Got it. Thirteen is okay. You, in your, uh... You only just noticed this, but... You start to see the remains of uh, of the demon begin to slither towards specifically to newbie. Huh? What? What? Uh -huh. Why newbie? <laughs> and uh, Protus looks at Krafos. Uh, what are you doing? No, Protus doesn't see it. Only Olin does. Yeah, only all one. Oh. And let me just... shout out to us, Olin. Oh, sorry, what? Okay, and uh... Olin seeing something. The Raffles is remains ooze uh, swarming towards newbie. Oh. And a uh... clawed. <laughs> okay, so a clawed hand is coming to. Uh, just grab, just you're gonna try and grab a uh, newbie by the leg, and uh, roll a uh, newbie, roll a strength save for me. All right, strength save. That might be a disadvantage. Because they're both the same size, I think. 
No, I mean, it's a sneak attack. Like, we're distracted and... Wait, so I should uh, roll two d20s then? Wait, that's strength check? Yeah, strength save. Uh, saving, uh, that's a saving throw? Yeah, saving throw. Uh, so lowest one is a 10. Yeah, you just managed to, uh, catch a, uh, very, very demonic looking hand that's going for your leg. Alright, uh, we just, uh, just like kicking the ground. Like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, just, we all see huh? this, correct? <laughs> well, worth a shot. The replacer grabs the red raffles. Put him in the bottle. Wait, 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 wait. Pull out the bottle. Pull the ball, pull him the ball, pull him the ball. Hold on. Put him in the bottle. I'm out the bottle. First of all, you two guys view as water skin balls are very narrow, right? Yeah, no like. Oh, yeah. And it's at this point, before you begin to shove him in, that this is the most this is currently the most sincere that he's ever been without being terrified <laughs> hawk yes i tried but i was willing to make you a deal but hey, what? here's the there's a but to this and i cannot lie <laughs> anyway look with whatever reflexes like that then I know I can trust you. You literally tried to kill one of our friends. Oh, kill. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, intimidation. And uh... nice. Prozess gives him the biggest death glare. Like his eyes just turn demonic. Looking like, do that again, and I will make sure you have fate, suffer a fate worse than death. And, uh, by the way, I got a nat 20 for oh. the demon. So. Oh, wait. Uh, wait that's so Rathos a... just gives you a big old a toothy grin. And, uh, you know the the flask in a jar? Uh, the, the demon yeah, in a from flask? Full from, from, yeah, from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, from Full Imagine that face looking at you. <laughs> Can't be anything worse than being shoved into a wasp queen. Shoved into a water bottle. And it was at the it was at the, the point that bottle. Olin just it was at that point that Olin was just sidetracked when you heard to the, the bottle. word made when you heard <laughs> the word made into a deal. Besides and, you, yeah. and uh before he before you do that. Uh <laughs> can't be anything worse than being shoved into a wasp queen. And <laughs> besides the only thing I'd want to do with that, after everything I've just admitted to you, is just test you. Wait, test us? Still going in the Who bottle. Who are you working for, demon? Which <laughs> lord do you work for? <laughs> they don't give us shit. They don't give us demons the time of day, so we gotta... I'm asking what demon war do you work for, Raffles? Which uh, one rules over you? I don't think they have those in this universe. Uh... <sighs> Look, it's... not my place to say. Besides, names have power. You're worried they might be looking... Looking for a weakling for you. <laughs> Please. A weakling like me? They couldn't give two shits. Hurry up and put him in the bottle. Put, put him, him in the bottle. bottle. Put him in the bottle. Put Again, guys, you know what our skins look like, right? Yeah. Less room for him. Uh, yeah. Quick question. Um, yeah. The core, is it like a there is there like a solid mass in the in this core like Yeah, the core is kinda solid, even with the little bit of uh 
of the sludge that you have in your hands that's allowing him to make all to make all these things. Yeah, Are we able he, to fit him he, into a water skin water, water bottle? Probably not. Like, how big is his car in diamond? Like a golf ball size? Something? Yeah, I would say. Actually, yeah, I would say a golf ball size. Yeah, you need something to... Probably just go look at Frafros again. I will make you a deal. But, if I if you break this deal, I will take you directly to the church so they could smite you to oblivion. And it was at that point that Olin did not like that idea. He, He's still steaming mad, but he's like, What? We're making a deal with this bloody thing? Why? <laughs> Trust me. You'd do worse if you... Okay, not worse. You'd be in a pretty bad way if you just have normal weapons against Fire Blight. I saw what they got... I see what they got packing on him. And let me tell you. <laughs> and he's looking at all of you with a very with a very stern look. It ain't anything that's pretty. If it <sighs> uh. Fine. Actually, you know what? Just shove me in the bottle. I don't care. You know what? Probably just grabs him and puts him onto his axe, great axe. No! You bind to this, you bind to this but stay hidden. We were what? In you wouldn't let me put actually, him on a necklace? No! Actually, actually, put him Protos, in the bottle. You, actually, Protos, when you do that, you start to you start to hear a bit of a hiss. Hmm? And, uh, yelps of pain from the, uh, from the demon. Hmm? Yeah! What the what hell? The... Uh, Prolos just lifts him off his of ah, axe blade. Ah. What the hell? Necklace, necklace. Turns oh, out. You didn't tell me you had what? that! Have what? <laughs> Please. Wait. Only something that's celestial. Can absolutely put the put the smackdown on us. Wait, you talking about the right and axe? starts luring him much closer to the axe blade again. Is that no, no, so? no, please, no, wait, 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 wait no, 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 please, please. Can I, I roll a history check to see if you know if this is what you're saying is true? Like celestial based weapons can harm demons badly. Well, it's a uh, meteorite, right? so obviously it's from the space. Yeah, no, celestial you know, as in heaven, all that like holy, holy stuff. Like, like I know I got a flat zero in in history check, but can I roll it to see? Oh, yeah, go right ahead. Come on, give me something good. Well, blow me down at thirteen. You recall a little bit of it, but you don't exactly know what counts as celest uh, celestial. Even if something like this came from the heavens, the materials aren't exactly of this world. All those things, and Scaro, isn't your sword from the moon? And he kind of oh. uh, just holds Raffles in his hand towards his sword. Hmm. Is it getting the same reaction? Yeah! Yeah! Huh. Oh. Please, please, no more. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess that solves that question. <laughs> so, Celestial Horse, wherever our weapons are made of, seems to hurt you demons a lot, a lot. Rolders, uh... And it was at that point that Olin just catches up with everything, and then he just deeply sighs. <sighs> Uh, what about, Owen, are you right? What about this? He takes out his nunchuck. Uh, Prothus just holds, his, holds the core in his hand and just... And, know, uh, uh... Just hold it near 
uh, owns nunchucks. Like anything. Okay. It's cautious, but as soon as it touches the nunchuck itself, it just dives right in. Oh no! Oh, oh, I'm I'm still holding on the its core. But here's the thing: it's wrapping itself around the nunchucks, no, but you still uh, have the core. Yeah, I just pull back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Yeah, okay. I'm still trying. Okay, let's get a jar to put this thing in. Can we have someone the go back to town? I'll, I'll stay out in the outskirts of town. But then Olin just like try, But then Olin just stops them right there, just like hold. We it. established that the bottle won't work. What? Oh, oh that shit. Yes, Olin. This could, I think this could be a celestial weapon for this thing. And as much as I hate to embrace this, but I think this is the only thing it can possess. You do realize if this thing will possess it, it might try to corrupt you. Well, what choice do I have? What choice do we have? <laughs> I know it's just getting a jar. Uh, DM, what? can I insight check on Owen? Yeah, go right ahead. Yeah, because... Uh, 13 again. But bloody oh. hell. Now we're, now we're getting to okay. the 13th. Like, is he alright? Ah, oh, Friday the 13th, I get it. Yeah, I'm going 13th. Okay, Olin. What does Proto see? Or does he, he need sees, to uh, throw this cipher? He sees... He sees Blank stare, no emotion, no fear. It's the part where he's he is steaming mad, but then he just loses his happy side. This is full on angry Olin right now. Probably just has blinks and no, our brother told me dealing with demons are more risky than dealing with devils. And it's right at that moment when you feel something. Who feels something? Uh, you actually, Protos. Oh. Well, why am you I feel feeling? Something, you feel something unholy. Not even, not even demonic. Just unholy. From Owen. And no, no, from in your hand. Protoss looks at uh, Raffles is in narrows his eyes. What are you doing? And R Rathos isn't answering. He's just he's just huddling himself. He's just trying to protect himself from what you eventually see as the black ooze parts. You notice a sigil on the core. Carlos' eyes widen and holds us up. Oh, and I think you need to sit down, but... Um... And, uh, oh yeah, and real quick, it's glowing, which means... Oh. They're gonna explode. And uh, whatever's uh -oh. going on with Rathos, it's not good for him. Rathos, um... what are you doing? Uh, it's not me! He's recoiling in pain. He's... He's trying to do... It's at this point where he's trying to do all he can to scratch off the insignia that's on his core, and yet somehow... It just... It just begins to dissolve in what I can only describe as an unholy... Fungus. Like, oh, is it oh. killing it? Proto, it's stop it. Proto, yeah, stop it. it's uh, killing yeah, it. Yeah, Proto just drops it. And it's trying to escape its fate. But eventually, there's nothing left of Rathos. What the hell just happened? That was disgusting. Proto just oh blinks and looks at Scaro. Like, uh, you know magic? You know what happened? 
Did I know... Have I ever seen magic like this before? No, there's no history check that you can roll that... Our can feet, ever... Right? That... Uh, that is magic I have no idea about. So, what... So, at this point, all you can really say about... Uh, about Rathos's words about Fireblade not using normal means of magic. He was telling the truth. Otis just rubs the back of his head and just looks at everyone else. Uh, we should. He turns his head towards the Wasp Queen and it's like, uh, we should probably. We should probably clean up. Yeah. And and as you turn to look at the Wasp Queen, she's okay. Huh. I mean, sure, she has a few dents in her uh a few dents in her armor, but other than that, she's fine. There's not even any like tears in her wings. <sighs> Thank you, kind travelers. You can I, you can talk. As long as I am here, yes. Rodus just shrugs and just walks out to get uh, Agatha, and you know, like uh, pick her up. Uh, pretty much, I know this is kind of important, for me, but Rodus doesn't know if Agatha is a. Girl, not see. He just he assumed. <laughs> <laughs> he's been confused this whole time, and it's just been yeah, too great he's to just, ask. Yeah, like, most drugger boys have seen or you usually you know, bandits, you know, males. Say, uh, pretty much, I don't know how Sivs, you know, sayings on dragon boys. Is this saying like, um, like do dragonborn females have breasts or not? So, uh, for the moment, I'm. Going, I'm just gonna say yes. Okay, uh, well, probably er, just, uh, at least something know. similar to that. Okay, uh, probably just picks her up and doesn't realize it, but uh, we should probably get her somewhere safe before we get wait. Nervous, but oh, and uh, you, your your friend, uh, yes, is is she all right? Uh, he we, we don't. To her, we don't know. To her and you know, he pretty much carried her like a fireman kind of scenario over her shoulder, on his shoulder. I mean, um, it's just like I think she has. I think he has a uh, wind knocked up. Wait, did you say she? Rose <laughs> <laughs> yes. just looks back to Waspy and to Agatha and back to him. Back, but that it's a she. Oh, you dumb fool. Huh? Uh, four was kind of obvious. Uh, yeah. What else do you call a queen? No, I mean, he points to Agatha. She's a woman? <laughs> <laughs> this has become a meme now. Indeed it has. Okay, I think we've been derailed for quite some time. Um, your oh. majesty. Uh, is, are you feeling alright? I believe so. My head has been swimming in a... It's the strangest thing. I've been swimming... It feels like I've been swimming in a black sea. Where, no matter how hard I try, I could not escape. But it was only thanks to all of you that I could actually fight back. And... For that, you have my gratitude. Yeah, no worries. It's part of our job. It's, it's, over. it's over now. I... So... I didn't your, hurt you or your friend any, did I? Uh, you tried to sting me. I deeply apologize. That's all right, what's that? Uh, he looks over towards where Raffo's, uh... Is there, like, a bird mark on the ground where he died? Yep. Uh, in fact, in fact, uh, the remains of the demonic fun the uh, unho 
the unholy, unnatural fungus, it strangely leaves like a very uh, dark blue and dark purple kind okay. of like mark on the ground. I may need to gather some of this up for evidence. <clears throat> Probably just nods, but be careful. But, uh, yeah. The little ooze monster that was possessing you, it, well, we got it off of you, but, uh, it died shortly afterwards. Probably this is going to leave out the fact we were talking to it, and we're going to make a deal of it, because if he was right about we need, you know, special weapons to fight the blights. But guessing they didn't want us getting that edge, but but yeah, he leaves out the part for you trying to make a deal of it, but do leave it as we were asking it its questions. I... So nope. our blight cultists were here. Yes. I saw them. They were they brought someone here. I, I, I don't. It's cloudy. I don't fully remember exactly who it was that was brought here, but they used them as a sacrifice. Ooh. Yeah, probably and, would note this, you know, given like how demons are usually summoned into the material plane. Yeah, but not that I've seen any necromancers before, but something that they did, it it frightened me. They took the child's body and it, and this in this case the child quote unquote is I'm gonna say about around maybe like fifteen, sixteen. Oof. Jesus. <sighs> Something they did it turned them into a monster. Not not in like a what you would call a zombie, but something worse. Probably just Things like, and we'll go over Unfor to us, uh, Unforgivable. Indeed. So, what happened to this place then? In order for the ritual to have been complete, they. they drained all life from this place. It's. will probably take a while before anything becomes of this place again. I... I will admit, as... as this Holy Ground's guardian, I... I want to do something. But... Well... I'm... <sighs> Don't know if we're basically be asking for much, but the reason why we're here in the first place is we do need to require your help. Very well. We believe Fireblight is preparing an attack on the Fave Cove, and if your children decides to help us, it will be a great help in basically defending Fave Cove and its inhabitants from the great evils that is, of course, Fireblight. And confidently. Wispy looks up at you and says, <laughs> Alright. So you, uh, you ain't done with us yet, huh? <laughs> Not on the slides, Wispy. And what's, uh, what, what's with that name? Wispy. <sighs> Very uh, well. You well, remind me of an old an eyebrow and drugs. Just reminds me of an old friend of mine. Eh, whatever. And then it was and at the point that um, Olin has heard of the entire conversation, but he just turns around and just walks away. Not very far away, but just have to calm himself down. And 
The queen looks at you and says, uh, looks at all of you and says, it will be done. I will um, give all of my forces if necessary. All right. Uh, uh, where's that boy? Um, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Um, Jeremy. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Uh, Jeremy. So much Jeremy. And as is there a church in Faco? Oh, Jeremy. Oh, he's. Wait, has something happened to him? Yeah. Uh, isn't Jeremy right here? Oh. And Jeremy just walks up. He's like, "Yeah, I'm fine." Oh, good. You you are all right, my child. Probably starts an eyebrow. My child. Hey, it's a long story. Is your mom a drugs? Adopted Please. son. The top. A mother adopting a child. I understand. Probably just play his hands like he. Pretty much the same. This is one weird over... family tree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where you two meet his adopted mother then. But, uh, yeah. Probably towards Jeremy, you know, with Agatha on his shoulders. Um, is there, like, a church in Fake Hove? She meets, yeah. She needs, a hospital. she needs a hospital more than the church, really. What's a hospital? Ju Ju and... Jubilee, might, Jubilee might be able to help. And, uh, it's at this point where uh, the queen calls uh, a few wasps to uh, examine uh, Agatha. Okay, Doctor. She's fine. She's all right, my queen. Oh, thank goodness. I would be worried if Viola's, if the vessel Viola is damaged in some way. Oh, vessel Viola. What? what? Wait, you know uh, about the goddess? Viola. In this case, Vessel is more of a title and not an actual uh, thing. She, if I'm correct, she merely gives out her word. Actually, oh. I have a quick question. We actually were sent here from the other side of the planet, and I was kind of wondering if you might know Martinet. what it means. When you basically know what it means when one of us was teleported to an orange tree while the other one is teleported to a dead one. It would... Oh. And it's at this point where she realizes... A dead tree. That cannot be good. Not great, I'm going to die, aren't I? <laughs> We're all going to die sound from the sound of it. We're all gonna die someday. Wouldn't a druid fix all this? It, everyone dies eventually. And oh, it's at this point... <laughs> it's at this point where even the queen is like... I'm... I'm frightened. I'm scared to know what happens when... Oh no. Oh no. Huh? I'm afraid that... I, I, I think I remember this, but if a dead tree has come about, then either the influence of of the gods has, is weakening, or something's happening. Something is happening to not just this realm, but the world of demons and the gods. Oh, oh just... uh, Prolos is completely lost and looks at everyone else like we need to get we need to get re ready for fire blight when they when they come to fake. Right, right. What's going on? Oh, by the way, when a newbie comes back to rejoin the group, uh, he's they're like, uh, guys, guys, the weirdest thing just happened. When I was taking care of uh, Agatha and Jeremy, and some uh, some. Hand just uh, sprouted out into the ground my leg. It was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. So that what's was going on here? Raffles. Oh, I mean, Let's have more more raffles. <laughs> no, we are not. Oh, yeah. We are not oh, yeah. Speaking of monster hunter. <laughs> oh yeah. Speaking not in of that way, at least. Speaking of, at this point, uh, all of the black ooze has 
pretty much dissipated in the same way as the core. Uh, Protoss looks out of a scar and it, it kind of left a concerned look. I may not know much about magic, but was Raphael saying too much? And Protoss looks around. You don't think we're being listened in by someone. Uh, can I roll a perception check to see if there's anyone around that might be spying on us? Go right ahead. Uh, no, I... <laughs> eh. no, it's not at least not 13, but... Can I do the same? Uh, yeah, go right ahead. I'm pretty sure, uh, Prolos doesn't know much about magic, but I'm pretty sure Scar would like know, like, whatever magic that was... Would have been triggered remotely, you know, like within range. Okay, uh, essentially, there is the only people in the vicinity are you, and uh, as well as Jeremy, Agatha, and the wasps, and our otters. Oh, of and course, our and our otters, otters, which they were probably hiding away. You don't think. Nah. Someone was here. I was actually kind of thinking of the others, but that's a completely different. <gasps> if the otters betray us, Paula <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, just raise so an eyebrow. Wait, Wait a second. Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, Paula, um, what happens is right out of your right out of your boobs. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, Lotus. What you know do the you think otter is? Who the fuck leaves Lotus, an otter in between the boobs? I mean, it doesn't make more sense it. if it was a ferret or a mink, but an otter? Does he have a bag of holding in there? I had to keep her close to my heart. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> my god. Rose has eyes widen and just like, uh... And, uh, well, it's a good thing that Olin's f not very far away from the group just to calm himself down just to see that shit. to put things in there. Calm it down. It makes me concerned where <laughs> Olin's keeping his otter. I, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, uh, but on a serious note, oh, yeah. um, Olin, uh, what, was, what was the name of your otter again? Maximus. Yeah, Maximus has Maximus was hiding and is currently comforting you. Yeah, comforting me, trying to calm me down while I'm not very far away from the group. And uh, <coughs> yeah, Lotus, Lotus is just full on dizzy. <laughs> Mine are still just riding on my shoulders, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm good. Oh. You're in the fight. Let's get back to They're brave otters. Okay. Okay. Uh, Prolus says wings and just dumbfounded by one, but goes back to Scar. I think when we were talking and getting information of Raffles, someone might have triggered that sigil on its back. I don't know much about magic besides from Doctor Blight, but he said most magic needs to be within certain feet. Or no. someone who has very strong powers could do it miles away. Well, I suggest we dog. be wary then. I suggest we be wary then while we're on our travels from now on. So, Protoss is going to nod that we should get back to town. Before we have an idea. And, uh, uh, it's all right if we borrow some of your wasps to help us transfer very quickly back to the village. I could carry her. She's not that heavy, which I'm still surprised it's a stream. <laughs> oh yeah, and it's at this point where you hear a bang. Prolos just turns around like, like, what kind of banging sound? Like, an explosion. Prolos eyes widened it, and just... And it's in the direction of Fake Hope. Prolos oh, no. just swears in, in Minotaur, and it's like, THIS WAS A DESTRUCTION! And, and it's at this moment such... where you, and it's at this moment where you gradually hear a <laughs> Wait, no, it's just an old goblin. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's and, goofy. <laughs> and, my god. 
and Goofy, no. And a uh and a wolf man, like a like an actual wolf man. <laughs> just and just face plants in the dirt and Oh, oh look, he is furry. covered He is covered from head to toe in magic dust. <laughs> uh oh. Oh also just dumbfounded and again it's like is that a werewolf? Uh, I think it may be a beast man. Or beast folk. Does anyone have silver? Uh, I'm not just going to stand no. rather wait. I'm sure I do somewhere. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, he meant by we weaponry. He, he, me he meant by weaponry, Paulia, not, not coins. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Robo, you don't need to check to see that it's clearly. Uh, magic from the fairy trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Buffer Sprite. What, what what happened? All right, hold on. Scott's just gonna walk over. <laughs> Still alive. And it's and it's at this point where the wasp queen is just like, oh, that little that little sprite is more trouble than they're worth. Mm -hmm. Is this common? You have no idea. <laughs> it was at that moment that Olin, who is very calm now, just runs back to the group, just like, Guys, I just heard an explosion right over there, and just... What is that? this point down towards the werewolf man. Uh... And... Wait a minute. Paul's gonna t take his great axe and poke him with the wooden part of it, and, like, the pommel? <laughs> it's like... Poke, 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 poke. Oh yeah, and uh, he's just trying to get him, get his face out of the ground. Very much uh, Sonic I, Unleashed. Uh, I very pretty much, much I have to fear I know who it is. And he's just trying to pull out his head and, his, and poof. <gasps> oh goodness, I thought I'd never get out of there. Oh, uh, DM, is this who I think it is? I don't know, is, this is it? Is the guy who has the bad luck? Maybe. <laughs> oh. I forgot <laughs> his name, but what's his name again? The one who has the seriously bad luck. Uh... Oh, howdy, it's you again. Uh, not, not... It's not the, uh... It's not... Uh. Actually, I forgot his name, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm <laughs> You're the DM. How could you forget yeah, about this important character? Xander. Xander? Yeah, it's not Xander. It's not Xander. Oh. Oh, I thought you know he did something to the sprite and caused her to turn into a werewolf for <laughs> for who knows what. What kind of Sonic <laughs> Unleashed bullshit is this? <laughs> ah, nice. And uh, the werewolf just looks at all of you and goes, "Oh, hello." I like your uh, accent. Cool. Howdy. Who, who are you? Uh, what do you want? Uh, hello? Hello? Did you just uh, come from oh. that explosion right over there? Yes, I was about to purchase something for a friend of mine in... And... Who, oh, if I... <laughs> if I knew that we'd... Uh, if I knew that I'd have to deal with... Well... Bats, then... Oh, oh, my head. Oh, um, right. what were you trying to buy? I'm curious. Pros uh, thinks a bit and looks towards up. Uh, who bought the magical items from her? Like, uh, I know this Paul bought bought the the belt of returning from the sprite, but who else? I mean, all our potions came from there. I swear there was more. I only bought. Oh. I don't think I bought anything. Uh, can, can we? Can we? Can we move on? Right. It's at this just... point where. It's at this point where the uh, the werewolf looks at everyone with a realization that, oh, it was a uh, a fire potion. Well, our they could explain the. Ex we don't seem you don't seem burned. It seems it more of a I'll make sure. Was it for uh, anyway, not to buy that? In any case, I do believe we should be moving back to town now, shall we? 
Yeah, uh, Miss Agatha post looks at her. Oh, oh needs dear, what happened to her? Uh, the wind knocked out of her. Oh. I shall, shall I help you carry her back then? Uh, I pretty much got her pretty much fine. Uh, oh, this may sound good, but you do know you look like a werewolf. Yes, I very much am. No oh, biting. So ever... Oh, so you're very I... much aware that you're a werewolf. I... Why would I bite you? You all seem like very kind gentlemen and lady. And Thank it's you. at this point. It's at this point where the werewolf just bows at you, Paula. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Why don't I get this much respect from you guys? <laughs> because I don't. Because I don't respect you. <gasps> Let's get back to town, guys. Roland, Roland just it's looks at, away. It's at this <laughs> point where the werewolf is just like, eh, "Oh, to be a dwarf." That's it. Oh. That's that's all he said. All right. <laughs> uh, and uh, the wasp, us. the wasp queen. Uh, before that, uh, the wasp queen looks at you all and goes, "Oh, before you go, uh, he hand, she Please. hands, yeah, he comes back. Hey, how's it going? Oh, the, the bee. <laughs> yeah, Wait a I come here every uh, so often. Well, yeah." yeah. Oh my god, the bee! <laughs> yeah, I would say that voice. The hell was that? It's the bee. The talking male the bee. bee. The oh. one with like facial hair and smokes. Oh, right. <laughs> hey, how's oh, it going? Guy. Probably and, familiar. Uh, and he is just like, Is this going to happen every time I come near you guys? Yes, we are very much big fans. Oh, well, maybe yes. you are. Well, maybe, maybe Milady is, but we are. Uh, what was the Wasp Queen yeah. trying to give us? And uh, the Wasp Queen is basically giving you a uh, a very strange looking uh, horn, like a uh, actual musical instrument, or a kind of like a war horn, a, a little bit of both, actually. Uh, like a, it almost looks ones? like it's. It almost looks like it was carved out of the hive itself. Oh. Ooh. Wait, does the end kind of looks that. like a hex called like a honeycomb sort of thing? Yep. Ooh. I feel like that's something. Blow on this when you need us. Ah. And we will sorry. be there. Olin just snickers at that blow. <laughs> <laughs> I slap uh, Rothen slaps Olin for having a dirty mind. Ow! And uh, not, and the werewolf is looking at every looking at every one of the of the talking uh, bugs, and it's just like, oh, fascinating! I must tell him about this as soon as I get back to him. Wait, tell who exactly? Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. He's a good friend. Process uh, size. Uh, Let's all get back to town before, before night falls. Comes, before the wolves come out, process is what he said. And oh yeah, it, uh, speaking of that, it, it's at this point. It's like it's like late afternoon, uh, about uh, about time to. Uh, yeah, it's probably about time to head back. Yeah, it's just oh, like process rears. He may. Honestly, I don't know if it would be insulting to call someone, uh, you know, never mind, uh, pretty much, let's all just head back to town before we get caught in the dark. Before we go, <laughs> yes, uh, we still have that uh, wasp treat on us, right? Uh, the honey bun cake? Probably looks at the bag of holding, it's on him. I mean, we... Uh, cake? We don't, we, we don't have to, but... Do you want to uh, probably do Who said them? cake? Uh, was the queen was... did. The queen did. Carlos just uh, put Miss Agatha down also, gently. Also, and... the queen is just very curious. In her head is very much tilted when you uh, when you say that. Uh, we will Carlos... to present you a gift, I suppose. Yeah, uh, Carlos oh. puts into the bag of holding and pulls out a five pound of, of 
cake, Vossing cake, uh, um, from the, oh damn, I forgot to, what was that tavern owner's name? Okay, uh, hold on. The I know for sure it's not Ronan. <laughs> <laughs> Like, was it the Feymont Tavern? Yeah, yeah, the Feymont Tavern. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me grab the name here. Uh, Farron. Farron, um, we bought this from Farron. Uh, Pros just pulls it out with both hands and, um, oh, looks on the, uh, somewhere on the map, uh, probably where, nowhere near the sigils, uh, you know, uh, are you also on the map? Uh, no. I know. I love. Oh, uh, uh, just say I uh, put it where where love of blood or is uh pretty much near the hive. Oh, I uh, thank here you. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you. You are a very kind minotaur. Uh, thank you. I'm sure you realize we don't get much of your kind around these parts. I really concerned that. Hmm. Well, minotaurs in general on the ball. our uh, site. Rosa just shrugs and just walking towards back to Miss Agatha and put her on his shoulder again. But let's get back to town before it gets too late. I'm pretty sure the queen needs to rest and recover. Hmm. Yep. Oh, before and, before, we go and before we leave, I oh, yeah. newbie tries to sneak a handful of the cake. The queen knows what you're doing. The queen knows what you're doing, but she just lets it slide. <laughs> yeah. well, I can put you, this can, up. you can get more later. Now let's oh, go. Please. What do we do let's with not you? give a call to eat the entire... Honey bun cake from a tavern. I remember that when you with a pepper active cobalt that's going to ree -ee 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 -ee. <laughs> Well, to be honest, the cake is a lie as always. Wink, wink. <laughs> no. It's <laughs> full of wasps. <laughs> <laughs> Rose okay. just throws his eyes and says, Let's get back to town. I really want to find a nice soft hay. Before we get going, uh, could oh, I quickly yeah. get a quick sample of the dust that uh, left behind the demon where it once stood, where the demon core was? Absolutely, that's a good idea. Uh, what would I sh what would I call it? Uh, ash, demon dust, remains of raffles. <laughs> Did my hey, nunchuck for the moment disintegrate him? <laughs> no, no, for I... the moment, for the moment, all you know about it is that it kind of gives off, like, a mushroomy look to it. Hmm. So, you just call it mushroom dust. Alright, I'll, I'll call it... Uh, what, what, do, what, do shroom, what do shrooms emit? Like, the... Is spores? Uh, spores. Yeah, oh, that, spores. that was out of character, but uh, probably would know, but it's spores. Yeah, no, I'm saying out of character, because this is my normal voice. Yeah. Alright. I'll go and investigate these later in forensics. Alright. Be right back yeah. again, guys. I need yes. to use the bathroom again. This is okay. also my normal voice. I just have to um go deeper I... for Olin. For Olin, yeah. And then I do my best to sound like Patrick Warburton. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's, it's all coming technical. together. Uh... <clears throat> I just so, I oh no! I just looked at I just looked at the random arch to oh god damn it! <laughs> so that so poor for, order. So for no, the that, moment, art, that art is having a great time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So for the moment, uh, I'm just going to say that you guys are headed back, and think, yeah, you absolutely have uh, uh, taken taken a ride on some of the wasps. It was a great scene to greet the villagers. The Trumpet oh, heroes are back. Hello. They're riding on wasps. <laughs> Olin, but they're normal. Olin, wasps. Olin is like riding on Raffin's wasp, trying to hold it in, just like. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Sure. What happened? Can I'm, 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 you guys are was... heading back to town? How All right. Jeremy can, yeah, can, can, can we can we wrap this up? Yeah, no problem. 
Yeah, I got uh, work tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. you know, um, real quick, there's a little bit that I want. There's a small little bit I want to do. And that requires. Right. You guys move into the tavern where you guys. You guys get uh, a room. Since. And surprisingly enough, it's on the house. Ooh, a room. room. He was welcome. A single room I, I, for all of us. I, I'd rather it be in the house. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask. Was this big? Even when he's not preaching, but yeah, there are some spe- there are some special rooms uh, made for people of larger sizes. Yeah, it's, it's just saying we're all getting one room to share. I mean, it'd be funny who's be fighting over for the bed, but pretty much in that case, our process, you know, walks over towards the, what you assume is the yeah. bed and just put Miss Agatha on it. Oh yeah. Uh- Oh yeah, and uh, it's at this point where you see where Paula, you actually see a uh, pretty large figure that's uh, just talking to some of the bar to some of the tavern goers. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, <laughs> man, I'm loving that. I'm loving you guys. You guys are awesome. And huh? it's from that moment where you hear a loud BAM! And a door swings open. And you see a metal arm. Oh? Oh? And that's where we're gonna end the session. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry, what did I just witness? <laughs> I'm gonna come again with the metal, a metal arm. arm. Pay attention, man. <laughs> I swear, the metal it, arm. This person has blonde hair and is short and accompanied with some of the huge metal armor. <laughs> it's probably it's probably just like just a metal <laughs> arm with a fancy suit of clothing, but then it's just Chris Pratt's face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was fun. Um, uh, good question, oh, yeah. uh, Stephen. Um, oh yeah. Did we level up from this encounter? You did. Yeah. Yeah. Level four. Hey. Level, four. Level, four. Level, four, level four, baby. Level four. Oh, level yeah. four. That means ability oh, for yeah. improvement and all slash feats. And Paula, this is who you see. <laughs> NPC visuals. And Bugbear? <laughs> yeah, Bugbear. Oh. That's a bug boy. Uh oh. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you dare Uh-oh. use my weakness against me. Is this furry goblin? But big? Huh? Yeah. So there's big goblins. Uh, oh. Okay. Uh, so yeah, yes. that's that's basically a man that's a uh, uh, six five. Oh wow. Oh, oh Paulius is not that much taller than the rest of us. Honestly, Paulius is just getting a crush on everyone now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Paul is uh, going to be the reverse oh, part. Instead of flirting with everyone, she is taken by everyone. That oh, yeah. came up right. I, was... <laughs> I hope nobody was very concerned with Olin's anger at that point. Oh, uh, Paulus was. I was very concerned. I was just too scared to ask. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was more just like... wor- worried about uh, Agatha. Ooh, ability and score improvement. <laughs> I was just basically oh. leave, giving you some space because you're currently angry and I don't want to get in to interfere or anything. It's at this point where uh, we're going to have to wait until uh, the next two weeks to actually figure out who's who exactly uh, these two are. Especially finally, the guy in the metal arm. And finally, finally get the damn footage on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be a good time. I'm looking at I'm you, Steve. I'm pretty sorry, Mr. Sound, key information on my notes. You're thinking at this oh, yeah. point, you're thinking at this point where, like, the two episodes is basically just all in being a clown, but then when they watch this episode, they're just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess oh, yeah, and, out. uh, 
I'm I'm excited to see uh, Paula's reaction to uh, this big man. Listen, she gets overwhelmed very easily. She might just straight up pass out again. <laughs> no, oh, guess I mean, I have to... you had to pass out from seeing Prolos. Yeah, so I have to ready action the feather falling again. <laughs> but I gotta ask, I was not expecting you know, Raphos to say that to Prolos. You didn't. That you're no. basically somehow related to literally the Lord of All Hell. About... Oh, demon. So Raphos couldn't access the demon DX. king is my best couldn't... friend. Couldn't access Scar's <laughs> like, what, like, sword? Demon king. A pantry who's dead. Basically, he can't access uh, both. Basically, he can't access my sword as well as Protoss's hammer because they basically came from the sky, which probably are holy weapons. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. Sure, but, I, but it's it, I, the Raphos can only access celestial weapons. No, Raphos can't access celestial weapons because too much holy energy. Because you know, holy energy is just allergic to demons. Surely, that is true. But... I uh, I think I have a I think I have a different reason why uh, Protoss's axe is a bit uh, iffy for demon touch. I mean, because it did fell from the sky. I mean, true, but there's a different reason for that, and I uh, may, I say, may be you know, It might be a mix of who knows what kind of metal. Uh, Unless, if of course... If you guys ever ask Protoss where he got his axe blade from, uh, he'll tell you where he got it from. Unless, of course, there's, like, too much demon energy in there, I just can't handle it, I guess. But it also explains another thing. If he can't access those two weapons, what makes the nunchuck so special for that one? Well, it's just normal nunchucks. He can just actually possess them, you know? Oh, like, yeah. And, yeah, uh... Yeah. yeah. True, true. Like, hey, we had a chance, uh, to, <laughs> had a chance oh. to take care of them, but, you what? know, they died. Uh-oh. <laughs> they died. What are you doing? I want to swear him as a necklace. <laughs> doing the evil that's, necklace. that's all I have. That's yeah, all I have. Yeah, having a demon possessing a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't see anything going wrong, especially around your neck. Anyway. Oh yeah, you like my new jewelry? Thanks, it's a demon. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, want to see a dead body? Okay, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna finally, I think I'm gonna finally eat, eat dinner. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, uh, all right. Everyone, yeah, say right. goodbye to the camera. Right, and then man. I'm heading out oh. too. Yeah. 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 But, um, all right. Everyone, say goodbye to the recording. All right. Goodbye. 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 See you in the next episode.